only one word to describe this place only one spooky that's the word to describe Cinque Torre surrounded by clouds looking freaky as hell actually that's another word you can use we use spooky and freaky because I don't know where the hell I'm going seriously in this video, I will show you how I got to see these amazing rock formations in the Dolomites called Cinque Torre and what you can do when you're there. My name is Ahmed and I'm an entrepreneur and an educator. And on this channel, I specifically talk about personal development and traveling. So I'd encourage you to please subscribe and hit the bell notification for more content like this. So, um, just landed, I suppose, and came straight to Cinque Torre this time. Uh, with, this is the third time in six weeks, I suppose, that I'm here. This time again with this asshole who doesn't want to interact with you guys at all because he's an asshole. Um, but yeah, I mean, let me show you the views. Forget everything else. Look at this. Okay. So the plan is to catch this gondola straight up right to the top so um this is kind of freaky because i'm sitting whoa that looks that is so freaky so i am on the gondola it's supposed to be safer because you're supposed to pull that from the top but um this is just open and they just don't care i suppose because there's not many people around because of corona which is awesome I'm going right to the top. You can see the views right behind me. I don't know whether you can because of the hazy, bad kind of mirror, but like it's super cold. It's end of August, so it's actually not that bad. Actually, it's actually, it's start of September, I should say. It's first of September. So you have two options. You can either take the chairlift to the top or you can hike your way to the top. Both offers some amazing and one of the most stunning views in all of Dolomites. I took the chairlift option because I was running out of time and I prefer to hike back down rather than hiking up. So the plan is to get one way passes straight to the top and um, hike around the area. It costed me about 13 pound 50 euro, 13, 13 50 euro. Yeah. And uh, hopefully once we get there, uh, we're just gonna hike back down. So we're gonna walk back down through hopefully that path. I don't know whether you guys can see this. But, and the views from here look just absolutely stunning. I really don't know what to say. It's so unique and so beautiful that uh, you, you just have to... I kind of wish the weather was a bit better, but honest to God, I have no complaints whatsoever. I'm quite excited. The chairlift brings you to roughly 2,300 meters above sea level to Refugio Cinque Torre. From here, you get to enjoy the mesmerizing view of Tofana di Rosse and of course Cinque Torre itself, which was covered in clouds and mist when I went there. Just my first impressions uh, that this place has made on me. It actually reminds me of Trecime di Lavaredo. If you haven't checked that um, place out, if you check that video out, I would really recommend that you should. Um, that was probably one of my best experiences in Dolomite. So this place here, as you can see, is similar to that. Cinque Torre just means five towers. Uh, tre Cime just means three chimneys, I suppose. Because um, it looks like chimneys, basically. And it's, uh, again, uh, what I would suggest that you guys can come and check it out. I have to apologize profusely that I won't be able to take any drone shots of this place because my main plan was actually to come to Bologna and uh, just explore the city. So I didn't think I'd need a drone, uh, but I ended up changing my plans and uh, ended up coming over here. Cinque Torre, as all other mountains in the Dolomites, are made of a special rock called Dolomite. And it, their maximum elevation is at 2,361 meters above sea level. Every tower in Cinque Torre has its own name. You have Torre Grande, which is the highest of the towers. Whoa, it looks so freaky because you're right next to it. There, right next to it. I can actually touch it. Oh, I will touch it. Why not? I mean, I didn't get to do that with Tre Chime because it was slightly far away. And to be honest with you, I was short of time, full time. I mean, right now, 
is actually not that bad, so I am gonna touch it. I don't know what's the obsession with mountains. You might, you might wonder that too, but uh, I suppose, you know, what's in your blood is in your blood. Here it is. I'm doing the honors. There it is. Oh yeah, that feels great. That feels nice. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, unique, beautiful. Something that is not found anywhere else. Something that is unique to this place. So come here, why not? Especially when you live around the corner from this place, there's no reason as to why you wouldn't want to come here, okay? And uh, enjoy yourself. Fascinated by these rock formations, I decided to sit down and just admire the view. Then I decided to take a stroll through these rock formations to explore them further. The towers are particularly famous to provide a good and popular rock climbing spot with various routes at all ranges. I don't know whether you guys can see, but the weather has been severely compromised. If I show you the other side, um, I can't see anything now. And I am surrounded by these rocks and I'm not even a climber. So I don't know what's gonna happen. It felt like I was heading into the abyss. So I was gonna show you this place. As you can see, everything's covered with clouds and uh, it's raining right now. I don't know if you can see it on my jacket, but it's kind of, um, I'm in a situation where I'm thinking, should I go back? Oh, that looks nice. Uh, should I go back or should I um, continue forward uh, in this state? After taking refuge underneath that rock, the rain quickly turned into hailstones and I got to experience something truly unique. I don't know who is crazier, me, this weather, or this place, which is surrounded by loads of rocks. And right now the rain, it's not even rain, it's actually hailstones that are falling right on top of me. Um, the views look absolutely amazing. Despite the bad weather, the views were as breathtaking as ever. Update, you can see, my hands are completely frozen right now. I can't even make a proper fist. But look where I'm standing. Let me show you from here, actually. I don't know whether you can see the depth of this place, but it's pretty damn deep. It's nice though. Not often do I get to be in a place like this covered with rain. So I suppose I gotta be grateful for whatever comes my way. And of course, you see that gap there? That's where I came from. It's beautiful, absolutely unbelievable. I suppose not many people get to enjoy this place in the rain. So I consider myself very lucky that I was able to enjoy this in this weather. I decided to come out of the rock formations and go to the other side. The other side looked even more incredible, with these massive ginormous rocks towering over you. This area was a theater of conflict between Austro-Hungarian troops and Italians during World War I. Countless testimonies of fighting and the war shelters built by the Italian army are still present in this area and have been recently rebuilt to create an open-air museum, which is the only open-air museum in all of the Dolomites with historical itineraries. So if you're a keen adventurer like me and looking for a challenge, you should also consider 
combining this hike with a scramble and that's what I did. These views are nothing short of breathtaking. Therefore, you may have to break your back to get to see this amazing place in its true essence. Even if you're not a climber, Cinque Torre is worth visiting for the history of First World War. With my friend completely gone, I had the whole area to myself. Every side of these towers offer a different and a new perspective. And I felt taken back by these amazing views. Completely awestruck, I wanted to carry on exploring and do not stop. The weather adds extra layer of mythical aura to this place, making it seem like you're surrounded by giants or angels in heaven. There is always an inherent risk of climbing these areas alone. Therefore, I would definitely recommend that you either really prepare for it or take somebody with experience with you. So it looks like the rain's not gonna end. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna head back down. And uh, I know it's gonna take me two, three hours to head back down anyway. And because the sun's not gonna come out, I know for a fact that the it's gonna get dark fairly quickly today. So I sat down and decided to take the one last view before I head back down. Heading back down, as you can see, there are hailstones everywhere. These things are hailstones. Not snow, but hailstones. How cool is that? I have not seen them like this, because normally when they fall, this is melt straight away. But these things, they haven't melted. I don't know how cold it is, but wow. I didn't expect that in August. Something unique every single time when you come here. After coming out of Cinque Torre, the clouds almost entirely encapsulated these boulders. And I was joined by a shepherd with his sheep. It was a moment of extreme calm and serenity. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful place. I'm heading back now. But um, I was speaking to, I don't know whether you can see, that gentleman with a green cap there. I was speaking to him, he's actually from Senegal and he's a shepherd, 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 something, one or the other. So he's actually here for the past three years, working and taking care of these sheep. Sheep, sheeps, my English needs work. But um, it was a quite, awesome experience I must say who would have thought that I would have a dude from Senegal and he says he needs papers um, there's no work here so you will always find struggling struggle adversity problems in any region of the world but what needs to happen for you and for me is that we need some perspective so by meeting this gentleman over here I was able to gain some valuable perspective that how lucky I am that even though, you know, obviously I don't have all the riches, I have, I want things, I don't have everything that I need in my life, yet I get to do something very few people do. I get to enjoy my life. I get to really maximize my youth. So, I am extremely grateful for where I am and where my life is taking me. And I will never ever be, I never, I, I'll never put myself at a pedestal. I never, I don't think so, at least anyway, that I would never want to be so arrogant that I wouldn't want to help guys like that gentleman over there. So, but I want to be in a position to help them. 
and uh, I think that's what we can all aspire to do essentially do better thank you so much for making it to the end guys i really appreciate it the amount of support that i've gotten so far has been sh nothing short of mesmerizing so please like this video and subscribe to this channel and encourage me to make more of these videos and take you on even better adventures also comment down below as to where would you like me to go next i'll see you in the next one